Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance! This is the Pembroke! And space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way, then. Thank you, nurse. Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. Surely grant me access to the basement.
It's locked, all right. It's locked. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. A puncture over the left lung. Possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So... Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Good evening, Dr. Tippett. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. How did he die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. I will cover for you, Dr. Tibbets, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. What will you do after your resignation? Do you have a plan? I always fancied visiting Cyprus. Such a beautiful island. I could buy a house there, by the sea. Read poetry and wait for death.